given moment. And for those who don't have family or friends to lean on, starting over can seem impossible. And this week's Acts of Kindness, Ashley Hendrick shares one woman's mission of bringing better days to Farmville. Meet Sarah Mullen Spears. This is our furniture unit. By day, she's a farmer. So she has goats and other things to take care of and family. Also by day, she sows seeds of hope across Prince Edward County. Throw them back there. Throw them back. Her organization, Better Days Farmville, ensures children have somewhere to lay their head at night. When I heard her speak and her mission, just um, I just couldn't believe it. Um, I couldn't believe that. I didn't know that there were so many children without children without beds here in, in our area. It's an essential that can be costly for families. Having a bed is a crucial part because if you don't sleep, sleeping is when children take things from short-term memory to long-term memory. And it's also an extremely important part of emotional regulation. Especially those starting over. Fires are probably a good 10 to 15% of what happens. And then divorces and bad domestic situations are probably another 20 to 30%. But sometimes like people are living with family members in some kind of controlled rent environment and then that family member passes away. Um, and so then they don't have anywhere to live. Put these over here? Yeah. When all hope seems to be lost, Sarah steps in. And we work with a couple of local churches and other organizations that come and give me the hands I need to move all of this stuff. And um, so they come with their advocate and we load them all up and then they hopefully have better days. Better days start with monetary donations for beds and these gently used items. Like sofas, you know, tables, dining room tables, chairs. All donated and stored here, waiting to be handed off. Fools and queens are always appreciated. Just as quickly as drop-offs roll in, families are referred here week after week. Census data shows alarming numbers of the nearly 22,000 living in Prince Edward County. About 25% live below the poverty line. That's more than double the national average. She's really filled a gap that I don't think many people knew existed. But Sarah is determined to change that. I have never seen anyone so driven to help people. And I have never seen anyone so compassionate. And it shows. In the last 18 months, 273 children have new beds to call their own. And over 100 families now have furniture and household needs to get them on their feet. I nominated you for the Kindness Award and you won for all the work that you do. And so there's some cash and there's a gift card to take your family to the restaurant. And all these people are gonna know about your mission and your big, big heart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. This lifeline combined of community support and Sarah's dedication, undoubtedly bringing better days to Farmville. The end goal is that every child in Southside Virginia has a safe, functional home. And that's how we change the world. On your side, Ashley Hendricks, NBC 12. Wow, some incredible work being done wow, there. Congratulations. Yeah.